we are going to be going over some of the worst games that we've played this year because not everything always comes off perfectly. So, yeah, unfortunately, it has been a great year for the most part, but uh, unfortunately, some things just, yeah, don't come out the way you want them to. Either you play them and they're not living up to your hype or you read the reviews and they just aren't doing great, but for whatever reason, they didn't come out great. Alright, so we're just going to hop right into it. We don't have Korean today. Uh, but yeah, since... Oh you know, no. Yeah, Korean doesn't like negativity, so... Uh, that's why we're covering yes. all the all the bad stuff today, so we can get it out of the way, so that way he can talk about happy things next week. Alright, so who would like to begin with their first terrible game of 2021? Got what you all right, read. welcome to welcome to renting all men now. That's this right. is all negativity today. Yay. That's right. We're all <laughs> exactly. So uh All right. Yeah, so Antoine, I'm you gonna start. To... All right, Antoine's gonna start for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start because uh, you will see something very, very typical. I don't know if it's still the same today, but at least in the nineties and in uh, video games reviews, it was exactly like this. Some time ago, at the beginning of uh, when I arrived, I talked about Pine, and Pine sounded fantastic. Uh, just to remind you the setting, it's kind of post-apocalyptic, post post if you will, island where the last humans live all alone uh, at the top of a mountain and they are very afraid of going down the mountain because there are some creatures who could eat them or whatever down, down there. So it's a quite a, a very nice setting. I did a half an hour video on all the introductions slash tutorials, and it's super cool. It's very cute. The gameplay is fantastic. The story sound good. And I really, really recommended this game when I took it out. I remember it was a free, free on Epic at the time. And uh, so for the video, I finished at the introduction after, say, about one hour more, give or take. And if I was a journalist uh, working for a review magazine at the time, I would have given a 95%. Yes, jump on it. It's a fantastic uh, game. But after I played a bit further, <laughs> and you can start seeing the flows. Uh, it's a game which is very much Breath of the Wild uh, type of uh, open world with five tribes which are not friendly with each other so you have a, a great amount of diplomacy in this game uh, the only issue is that when you state like this press of the wild five different tribes mo uh, some of them at a war with war with each other you could do a lot of very interesting stuff with your character who's trying to you know, bump up a bit uh, humanity in, in there because they are really on their, you know, like uh, this uh, tall, uh, I don't know how you say it in English, but they're not really in a good position at the moment. So what happens is that this tribe, uh, basically, you just collect some mushroom or plants or whatever somewhere, drop them at the hotel, and that increase your reputation. And that's it. You go to the village and you can't, apart from the, the merchant, you can't talk to anyone. There's no quest in every different village. And there's some things ridiculous, like you go to give some, uh, some mushrooms to the, to the fox tribe. And they don't like each other with the uh, bull tribe. The bull tribe have never seen you. They don't know what you look like. But if you go within walking distance of them, they attack you on sight. That's weird. So this is the kind of things which is really disappointing because it could have been very fun, but giving mushroom to the foxes, meaning that as soon as you go to a part of a, an island that you need to go explore, meaning you attacked on site with other tribes, and that's really tiring, especially that the, the diplomacy, uh, diplomacy matter between different tribes change all the time, so you never know when you're going to get attacked. That's just not fun. And that's a shame because... 
the, uh, the weapon system, all of this is very much copied on Zelda, of course, but it works. It really works. The puzzles are fun and it really was something that I really wanted to play. And after like first hour, fantastic. One hour in, uh, after that was like, I don't want to keep doing this anymore. It's just, that's just not working. So started well, and it terribly. And that's for me is, although if it's, it's not a terrible, terrible game, huh? but for me, that's the worst game I played this year. Unfortunately, this and Dark Alliance with Phil, but I think he talked about it quite a lot, so. <laughs> so is it is it is there like a, a, a meter or something when you're working with the different tribes where it like kind of goes up a little bit or is it just like literally just black and white where it's like, oh, now we're on this side and the it's, other ones are against me and it just flips. It's a very creative meter, which is un unfortunately very tricky to, to watch because each tribe is re represented by some kind of logo, like uh, the foxes are fangs and whatever. Uh, and so you have the relationship in a kind of totem with all the logos and going up and down in some kind of a wheel, you know, green is good, uh, white would be neutral, red would be uh, at war. And uh, you have a little arrow for each tribe. And honestly, I was looking at them and like, so there are a war with who? Oh, okay. And I come back 10 minutes later, oh, it changed again. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna go on an adventure thinking, okay, so who's, uh, happy with who at the moment and in 10 minutes who's gonna be you should take notes of this and i just don't want to take notes of this this should have been a simpler system to to tell you where you're gonna be engaged on site so what's the goal of the game are you trying to unite the tribes or no 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 you're trying to find a way for human to to survive because the, the mountains they are living on is slowly crumbling so you don't really have you have a quite a small territory at first and it's getting worse and worse and at some point it's gonna all go down so you need to find a new place for humans to to survive and that goes through making alliance through resources the whole point of the game is that too many people for a small small island not enough resources some people are gonna die that's why they're always at war and you can't have everybody happy it's not a uh, that's not like this. So that, that's the thing. Humans have to find their place in this very dangerous and wild world that they don't know at all. Again, the pitch is fantastic. I really love this kind of pitch. You know, it's not all rosy. You have to, you know, kill and step on some other tribes to, you know, be able to eat tonight. <sighs> Such a shame. <laughs> Are there survival elements to it? Like, do you have to eat or is it mostly just you have exploration? To it has been a while, but yes, you have to eat. You have to collect some food. You have to craft. There's a lot of uh, crafting in it. There's even crafting in it. There's everything for me to be happy about <laughs> it. That's why I'm so sad talking about it this way. Aww. There's crafting, there's food, there's... Yeah. That is disappointing. 